Here are the installation steps for adhering Sentinel PVC membranes using Sentinel-S bonding adhesive to the parapet inside and outside corners. Before we begin, we should point out that there are several alternative installation methods that provide equally satisfactory waterproofing performance. We have selected one of them for inside and outside corners. Let's start with the inside corners. We recommend that you install the first corner membrane in the same manner as other flashing membranes and cut it so that it comes up flush with the change in angle. The second membrane must overlap the two adjacent membranes by at least 75 millimeters. Cut the second corner membrane according to the location of the membranes that you have already installed. Apply the adhesive to the back of the bare PVC membrane as well as to the surface of the substrate. Be careful not to apply adhesive to overlapping areas. Once the adhesive is dry but still tacky to the touch, lay the membrane down on the substrate starting at the base of the parapet to properly position the bottom corner. Cut the top corner of the membrane and apply even pressure to the entire membrane using a membrane roller. To use a specialized roller for angle changes ensures better adhesion of the membrane to the base of the parapet and to the corners. Now that the membrane is glued in place, cut off the excess membrane at the bottom corner. If necessary, cut the membrane so that all overlaps are aligned. Note that the corners of all cuts should be rounded. You can now weld the vertical overlap with the electric hot air welder and the membrane roller. Continue with the horizontal overlap at the base of the parapet. Now fold the last overlap back on itself and start welding the top corner angle change. Then weld the rest of the vertical and horizontal overlap. To cover the top of the inside corner of the parapet, cut a piece of membrane so that it overlaps the adjacent membranes by at least 75 millimeters. Spot weld along the overlaps to fix the membrane in place and then weld all of the overlaps. Finish by welding the rounded spot at the top corner. At the base of the parapet on the lower corner, install a gusset and weld it in place as shown in the video. Next, install a sentinel molded inside corner. Note that these corners are not reinforced, which is why the installation of a gusset is necessary prior to their installation. When you use the Sentinel PVC prefabricated corner, which is reinforced, a gusset is not required. Finally, on the top corner, weld a Sentinel PVC molded outside corner. Start welding from the center moving outward. That's how the waterproofing of the inside corner of a parapet is done. Now, let's see the installation of outside corners. We recommend that, like for inside corners, you install the first corner membrane in the same manner as other flashing membranes and cut it so that it comes up flush with the change in angle. 
The second membrane must overlap the two adjacent membranes by at least 75 millimeters. Apply the adhesive to the back of the bare PVC membrane as well as to the surface of the substrate. Be careful not to apply adhesive to overlapping areas. Once the adhesive is dry but still tacky to the touch, lay the membrane down on the substrate starting at the base of the parapet. Apply even pressure to the entire membrane using a membrane roller. The use of a specialized roller for angle changes ensures better adhesion of the membrane to the base of the parapet. On the top of the parapet, measure and cut the membrane to obtain a minimum overlap of 75 millimeters. Fold the overlap and cut the membrane at the bottom corner. Do the same on the upper corner. Trace and cut the corner of the membrane. Weld all the overlaps using the electric hot air welder and the membrane roller. Cut a square piece of membrane with rounded corners in order to obtain the necessary gusset. Start by welding the center of the gusset and align it with the adjacent overlaps. Weld the rest of the gusset in place. Now install the sentinel molded outside corner. Note that these corners are not reinforced which is why the installation of a gusset is necessary prior to their installation. When you use the Sentinel PVC prefabricated corner, which is reinforced, a gusset is not required. Finally, on the top corner, install a piece of Sentinel molded inside corner. Start welding from the center moving outward. This now completes the installation of Sentinel PVC membranes on the outside corners of a parapet.